hi guys welcome back to my channel for today's video it's not gonna be a thrift video it's gonna be a come with me to get my braces on and honestly i'm so nervous but at the same time i'm excited i've been wanting to get my braces for a long time already um ever since i was in high school i've been really insecure about my front teeth the bottom ones are really straight but i noticed that uh this part is not like a u-shape it's more like a v so they have to fix that as well okay so i went to my dentist appointment thinking i'm gonna get my braces today but no they did put spacers first hold on so i have two on each side top and bottom so eight in total um so that's the first thing that's the first step for my braces journey um i have an appointment next week and they will be putting my braces then for today's appointment they just did like the pictures like profile pictures and then they did the impressions so i'm gonna insert some clips since they did let me record at my dentist okay so the first thing i did was go to the restroom because i was so nervous and i always have to heat when i'm nervous second they did x-rays and they also took profile pictures to see how my face structure looked before my braces after they did the impressions the before basically it's the mold that they do of your teeth to have a better look of them so whatever they used to make the mold of my teeth was really cold once they put it in my mouth it does dry pretty quick probably like two minutes and then they take it out um, in my case the top part wouldn't come out and I was freaking out because it felt like it was stuck there and it was gonna be super hard to take it off um, thankfully she was able to remove it and I'm just removing the residue right here on this clip it was a weird taste to be honest after cleaning my mouth I went back to my room and they continued with my spacers they did the bottom part first they did my right side and my left side then they went to the top to do my right side and they kind of struggled with my left side because one of my molars was well basically it had enough space so they still wanted to add a band and they added a bigger size so that it could stay there because they figured it was going to fall which it did and i will talk about it in my next clip she's a mona lisa everyone's not enough to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that feeds her. Um, so yeah, let me get a little bit more comfortable. Um, I haven't felt any pain. It's been five hours since I went to the dentist. But an hour after I got out of the dentist, I did um, lose a band. It came off when I was eating chicken because I just don't want to risk missing another... Um, uh, I forgot the word again. What the heck? Another spacer. So I'm just going to be eating like yogurt and soft foods and um, i've noticed i am talking a little bit funnier than i usually talk because of these things i just feel like i have a piece of meat stuck in my teeth and i want to take it out but i can't um what else can i tell you guys yeah i haven't had any pain at all i did take tylenol an hour before my appointment and then every four to six hours i'm gonna be taking it just so that i don't have to deal with pain because i am not a pain person i cannot deal any type of pain not even like a minor kind of pain like i literally broke my nail and i'm in pain and i don't like it it's really uncomfortable um so yeah 
no pain but they did tell me that I'm gonna feel pain um, at nighttime or tomorrow in the morning and it's barely been like five hours since my appointment so um, yeah I already lost a I forgot again <laughs> What are the um, um oh sh okay that was live you guys I bit down and it hurt I just felt like my whole mouth went like to the side like I don't know that was weird oh my god so I'm not in pain but when I do close my mouth like that this head hurts a little bit like this right here kind of feels like these are loose and they're gonna fall off okay that was a quick update um yeah that's about it yeah it's not painful it's just when you close your mouth super fast and like you make the teeth touch each other like hitting each other quick that's what makes it like and i keep doing it yeah it's not painful um what's it called i forgot what i was gonna say Oh yeah, well the thing is that I lost um, the top spacer and I replaced it right away. Like I lived three blocks away so I went without an appointment because he told me I don't need an appointment to replace it since it's only for a week and I can't go more than a day without the spacer. So yeah, I'm gonna get my braces next week so I will update um, you guys on that as well and I will be posting a video probably every month to see my progress so that you guys know what to expect i am feeling this side a little bit more now i don't want to touch it though because they told me not to mess with it oh it just feels like oh my god yeah when i go like like that it just feels like it's loose and if i keep doing it i just feel like it's gonna come off that's the feeling but if you don't mess with it like right now i'm not feeling anything only when i mess with it anyways yeah don't be scared just get it done it's not painful right now okay so i'm doing a small update it's currently 4 35 it's been like an hour since i did the last clip and i'm starting to feel more pressure on this side the same side that i mentioned earlier so now every time i close my mouth it literally feels like they're gonna fall off um that's all this side doesn't hurt and I'm thinking because on this side I got my wisdom tooth removed so I have more space and this one is really crowded so since the spacers are like pushing everything I think that's why it's more painful on this side because the top I do feel it just a little bit but on the right side everything's perfect it's just the left side so I will update you guys again if I feel anything different so I'm doing another update. It's currently 9.45. I took a nap. And I took a nap. Okay, so right now, basically, I feel sore. I feel really sore from the bottom part, mostly. No pain. It's just like, when I was laying on this side, it was, I felt the pressure. So I was doing it on this side because on this side it was like less uncomfortable. Um, yeah, no pain if I don't bite down or eat. When I do eat, I try to use like the bottom part of my mouth and then like, and then with my tongue I just like push it back. I don't use my teeth at all because they do kind of hurt. What it feels like. I don't know, they feel so weak, like, they're, if they're going to fall off. But I wouldn't say it's, like, pain, because, I mean, I don't know, I haven't tried. I just feel something different, and I just stop doing it. Um, other than that, if I don't use my teeth, then I'm not in pain. Like, right now, talking, I'm not in pain. Mostly when my teeth are, like, touching each other. Oh, uh, I'm so tired, so I'm just going to go back to sleep. And I have to take my medicine like at 10.30. So almost time for medicine. Maybe that's why I haven't felt any pain. It's just like discomfort and like all the like pressure I guess. Because these teeth feel like they're just squeezing each other now.